Activision does not care about hackers in Call of Duty, and they do not care about your safety. Three major changes have been updated on their Ricochet anti-cheat policy, and it is a load of bullshit. My fellow gaming warriors, you need to see this. According to Charlie Intel, Activision says they have updated their policy to now state that those who attempt to game the system by making false cheating reports can be banned from the game. I'm going to break down for you here what these updates even are. Here's the official statement from Activision with three major changes according to the corrupt billion dollar corporation themselves. If you have been dealing with the shadow band issues, this is for you as well because I've gotten a lot of comments on that so this is for you. Check this out. This made me laugh out loud when I read it. Our in-game reporting system is a valuable tool to help make our anti-cheat and anti-talk systems better to make your experience fair and fun. Fair and fun? What is fair and fun about not only getting hacked and playing against cheaters, but playing a rigged game that is solely designed to push you to buy your scam microtransactions? Comment if you'd like me to expose that with Modern Warfare 2 and the rigged shady microtransaction system Activision has in place and how that has ramped up recently. Nonetheless, the biggest change to the Ricochet anti-cheat system is dangerous to the Call of Duty players. You can now be permanently banned if you spam report an account. And what does that really mean? How, did, how can they really tell that? It sounds fine on the surface, right? But it's totally not. And here's why. There is zero guarantee this system will even work as we, the Call of Duty community, know damn well Activision doesn't care about us. So if you do spam report, what if it's on an account that is legitimately hacking or cheating? Hackers get away with it all the time. So we can't just assume these reports will be taken seriously. Activision probably gets millions of reports on the daily from people spam reporting players who may not be necessarily hacking, but players who just piss them off. And look, we've all been there. But here's the biggest lie of this whole situation that Activision does not want you to hear. Activision loves hackers. The truth is, these hackers can be potentially banned from Call of Duty, but they'll just make another account and cheat on that one. That's why this whole ricochet anti-cheat is a lie and a scam. Wanna know something even worse? Activision probably wants hackers to play Call of Duty because it helps with their player count numbers. The more hackers, the better their numbers look to their shareholders. It's like cutting off one head but three more grow. Ban one hacker, the rat makes a new account and the cycle continues. Activision is lying to make it look like they're doing something good so they can also show off saying, Oh wow look, we banned 1000 players this month. Yeah, but those same 1,000 hackers who were rightfully reported by the sick and tired COD community and banned by Activision have now all made new accounts. It's all a lie. And the next major change according to Activision is in-game notifications. The in-game notification you get after you report an account for cheating will now clarify to you what action has been taking place. So basically it'll let you know when the hacker gets banned and it should also tell you that he just made a new account and joined your lobby to steal your bank information. Now, for the final major change, according to Activision, is automated penalties. Voice and text restrictions have now been put on hold as Activision adjusts their systems. In other words, yeah, we've decided to give you the excuse that we're adjusting our systems to give the hackers get away with ruining your Call of Duty experience that is already bad enough with gameplay decisions alone. It's genius, because no one knows what we mean by adjusting our systems and we're not giving a time frame. But it sounds legit enough for these paste-eating moth breeders to believe it without any questioning. Seriously though, what a freaking disaster. Guys, don't believe these clowns. They're trying to screw you over without you even being aware of it. Hopefully you have the brain capacity to see through the lies. Comment if you understand what I'm saying. And comment what you think of this whole Activision and Call of Duty Ricochet anti-cheat system. Do you honestly believe it works? Do you breathe out your mouth that much? And how will this affect shadow banning? Please share this video to spread the word on this nonsense because the Call of Duty community have had enough of the hackers and the unfair shadow banning. Hit that like button to spread the message as well and if you enjoyed the video I appreciate that. Here's one of your comments I promised to feature in this video in my latest community post so stay alert on that. You never know if your comment will be featured in the Wands video. Could be life changing. Ty says, I have tried to truthfully in game report players which are obvious or blatant in their cheating. My reports are in the upper hundreds during Warzone 2, which I assume that's closer to 1000. I have received 3-4 to in-game notifications during Warzone 2 that my reports have led to actions against toxic players. So I would say that the percentage is very low when it comes to actions against cheaters from reporting. I appreciate the comment Ty and thank you for sharing. Does this not sum up the failure and uselessness of the Activision's anti-cheat? Activision wants to put all responsibility on their players rather than fixing their own security problems. Man, Call of Duty is in really bad freaking shape. Subscribe if you're new to this channel to become an elite gaming warrior. When you do subscribe, you will acquire otherworldly G Fuel chucking abilities. Plus it's free, like making new accounts after getting permanently banned on Call of Duty. Thank you all for the support, I really do appreciate it more than you know. But one more thing, 
almost forgot to tell you, actually. I am a sentinel. Tisman one. 